Lives Matter, the mustering cry of a new movement to end police brutality against blacks. Almost four years after the Black Lives Matter movement started, it is now more than just a movement and has become about so much more than just racist police brutality. This is about standing up for our people, standing up for our justice, freedom, and love. Black Lives Matter support all black men, all black women, all black trans, all black disabled people, and we call to our brothers and sisters to love the color of your skin, to love where you came from, and to stand up for your own. This movement opens a conversation around ways black people are intentionally left powerless at the hand of the state. We are fighting for our own justice and freedom, and we will not stop until all black lives are no longer systematically and intentionally targeted for demise, until all black lives matter. This movement started when a 17-year-old young man, Trayvon Martin, was shot and killed at the hand of George Zimmerman because he looked suspicious walking down the street with snacks in his hand. Zimmerman was only in prison for three days before being released on his very low $150,000 bail. This caused an uproar around the country, causing protests and riots everywhere. Trayvon Martin is just one of the many black men left dead with no justice to their name. In 2014, I Can't Breathe became the rallying cry of protests everywhere when Eric Gardner was approached and put into a chokehold by Staten Island police officers. After 11 pleas for breath, Gardner said his last words, I can't breathe, before dying at the hand of a police officer. Black lives matter because we need our justice, our freedom back. These men are only a few black people crippled and stepped over by our state. Black Lives Matter because of all of our enslaved brothers and sisters locked away behind prison cells. America's 13th Amendment states, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for a crime. This may have abolished slavery, but it resulted in a mass imprisonment of black people. Being detained in prison is free labor for the state. Prisoners only get paid 12 cents to 40 cents an hour. While most do maintenance and upkeep, over 80,000 prisoners work for companies like Victoria's Secret, Walmart, and Whole Foods for only 12 cents an hour. In today's prisons, America holds more than 2 million prisoners and an astonishing 60% of them are black men. In America, at least 70 police departments arrest black people at a rate 10 times higher than non-blacks. This issue needs to be brought to light and we as fighters need to come together to bring forth the equality and justice we've been missing for so long now. Black Lives Matter because in 2016, 20 black trans were murdered. Of these people, the average age was only 35 years old. This is India Monroe. She was 29 when she was shot to death for being trans. Titi was found with her throat slit, and Ray Lynn Thomas was beat and shot to death by her mother's transphobic ex-boyfriend. These young people weren't even given a chance to live their lives fully because they were judged and hated for who they are. While all trans lives matter, black trans are being killed at a staggering rate. How many hate crimes have to take place before we do something about it? When the Black Lives Matters movement started to become a social media sensation, some white people did not agree with the expression Black Lives Matter and came back at the movement with All Lives Matter. This is not only offensive but insulting and hurtful to all the black men and women who fought so hard for our freedom just to be shamed, brought down, and powerless once again. As activist Jean Hall once said, let's be clear, we said Black Lives Matter. We never said only Black Lives Matter. That was the media, not us. In truth, we know all lives matter. We've supported your lives throughout history. Now we need your help with Black Lives Matter for Black Lives Are in Danger. Black Lives Matter is not saying all other lives don't matter. In fact, one of the main points of this movement is that everyone should be equal and everyone should be loved. But black people have been through way too much inferiority to not stand up for themselves without the white man trying to bring us back down and destroying our attempt to make it out of this hole we were put into so many years ago. In order for everyone to be viewed as equal, we have to be open and loving to all people. We have to stand up for our rights and we have to come above the violence, hatred, and ignorant comments. We have to come up people who are hateful with love and prayers, but also correcting their actions and their words. We must come above this so that one day we can say not only do black lives matter, but all lives matter.